go from rectangles? What is this magic? Let me show you. It's not magic. It's Adobe Illustrator. So obviously you're going to start with the rectangle tool for this and you can draw across your page. You want to be thinking about what <clears throat> what parts you're indicating here. You're kind of indicating the uh, top part of the skull and the jaw. And so we're going to draw two separate rectangles. I'm just going to swap those uh, so that the black line is on the outside instead just for my own uh, visual preference. And then I'm going to go ahead and click and drag another rectangle. Um, then I'll switch to the selection tool. Um, at this point, I want to get these two rectangles aligned. So I'll click on align and put them together like that. Um, now I'm going to wait to merge those together um, until I figure out if these are the right shapes or not. But what we're going to do is now to round off the corners. And so I'll select this top rectangle um, and then actually just use the direct selection tool to click and drag across those two top corner points. And when I drag this around, I can figure out kind of what shape I want. It's okay if it has a little bit of flat on the top, that's fine, but I think I'm just going to have, um, have it just be a, a full curve. Um, and then kind of where the jawbone is, uh, I want that to curve as well. Um, but I don't want it to curve quite as much, so I'm just going to select a little bit there. And then the chin, uh, again, I'm just going to click and drag across those bottom parts. And I don't know how rounded I want to make it. I think this, this person is going to have like a little beefier chin. Um, and then from that point, I think that looks pretty good. I can kind of squint my eyes to see it better, you know, how long this jaw is than I want it to be. I mean, I could. I suppose do something somewhere in the the world of or the realm of that. <clears throat> Align it again just to make sure. Um, and then I will go down to the Pathfinder and Unite. Um, and then my last final thing that I want to do is to drag across these two anchor points and round that off. Okay, so that's going to start the basis for my sugar skull. Um, and probably at this point, I want to align that to the artboard and I'll go ahead and vertically align it and horizontally align it so it's perfectly centered. And then I'll start drawing the eyes and the nose and the flowers and other cool patterns that I can come up with uh, from that point. But that's how you get started drawing a skull from rectangles.